all right good morning uh today we're just uh i'm just here at this uh rental just did a bunch of um touch-ups before uh, she gets ready to put it on the market and one of the things I'm doing today is cutting this mini blind um, it's just a little too long <laughs> all the other ones fit uh, stock out of the package except for this one and that's fine because we can do it now um, what you want to do is Get your mini blind. I like to tape both ends because if you just tape one end, this other end just peacock tails out on you and, and I don't think you get accurate. But you want to get the ends level. And I did this just by setting it on the workbench right here, taping the ends, everything's level as you can see. Plus, you know, just keeps stuff from moving around. Um, so anyway, I've got uh, my measurements. It's 25 and 7 eighths and right there's a mark now uh it a uh, 26 might be a really tight fit so uh, i'll cut right on the line and that'd give me um between 25 and 7 8 and 15 16 in there and that should work just fine um you can use just about any tape you want to tape these um ends um i used uh painter's tape because that's what i had I've used electrical tape, I've used masking tape, I've, tape, I've used uh, duct tape. Um, it doesn't matter as long as you get this tight. Um, this doesn't really matter at all. I just like, if not, it, it, it's spread out. So anyway, next, take it to my trusty Hitachi. And I'm going to put a 2x4 as soon as I can find the one I had here to hold this end up when I cut it because if not obviously you're gonna you stand a chance of getting it off and um, I cannot cut this with one hand and film with the other but you get the you get the point um, it's really simple you do want to measure I don't know three or four times and make sure and, and double check your measurements there before you start cutting um, it's okay if you cut it a little long but if you cut a little short and it doesn't work guess what you're making a trip to buy another uh, mini blind. So these are the vinyl ones, plastic vinyl. Um, on the aluminum ones, I use a hacksaw. And this would probably cut it. This blade here, as you can see, I'm not turning it around. Just like if I was cutting a piece of wood, just go slow and easy and you'll cut right through it. So anyway, let me get off here and let me get this cut and then um i'll bring you back afterwards okay got her cut look at there i'm not holding it level obviously uh let me show you what happened though and this is something you want to take note of when i first had this um taped up and ready to cut I had this end towards the fence and as you can see has that little bump out and it was pushing me out and I couldn't get my uh, blinds level with a fence so I had to turn it over and measure um, it's been real easy to say you know what screw it I'm gonna cut it anyway but then you would have been teeter-tottering on your um, fence and that wouldn't have been no good and that's how you get off on your cuts you you know it took I don't know, 15 seconds remeasure on the other side. So let's go in, see if our see if our blind's gonna fit. Do, 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 do. Man, this allure flooring has really turned out awesome. It's really transformed this house. Okay, there's uh oh. I don't know if I have to do that one. Don't know. Let's check after this one. Okay, let's just get her up there. Get the string. You know. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth and voila. It's a tight fit, but that's okay. I'm all about tight fits. Get them. 
Okay. Look at there. Nice fitting. Now we've got to find those little tabs that go in there. And uh, at the sides and get those in. There we go. That's how you cut a mini blind. So, um, don't be intimidated by if you buy a mini blind and it's just a little short. Look at that cut. Great. Now, some people will go and um, they will, will smooth these over with a, a file or something. Yeah, you can do it. A um, little grinder or sandpaper or something can file those around to those over. But I just, in this case, the cuts are so clean, I just don't see a need. So anyway, that's how you cut many blinds to fit, folks. You want to measure from the, obviously from here to here. And you got it. So anyway, Donald, Blue Collar DIY. Don't forget to like and subscribe, y'all. Well, I appreciate it. Don't forget to check on uh, whatever we've got going on on the blog and our other social media. So if you don't haven't uh, followed or liked uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, do it below. So anyway, we'll catch you and look for the next segment. Catch you on down the road. Donald out.